Alright guys, uh, so I'm back with another video. I want to try to make this quick. Uh, so, for anyone who's concerned, uh, as far as um, export settings for FBX, if you go to the settings window and you just search for FBX, you'll get this stuff here. You can choose your compatibility version, your units, your up vector, and your type, if it's NZ or not. <laughs> so by default, it exports it as a binary FBX. Some applications require uh, ASCII, or however you pronounce that. But moving on, uh, for those who followed along with the, uh, my last video on the go-kart and making the go-kart animation, uh, just open up the go-kart file that, that I provided that has the steering wheel and, the, and everything in the resting pose. And uh, <clears throat> to export it, you could just go to Export and Scene. And uh, export that. That'll be your mesh. Now for your actual animation, I'll go ahead and show you. You're going to right click on this armature and select branch. And it should show all the bones highlighted. Then with shift held down, you're going to select the mesh itself. And if you look over here, you'll see uh, you have mesh objects and transforms. Those are the main things that you're concerned about exporting. Uh, some of them, the mesh will be separate from the actual armature or transform type, uh, but with others, such as the Manny, the mesh will actually be under the transform, so. <clears throat> anyway, the joint is the actual skeleton, uh, so when you see that, that's the actual skeleton. So, with uh, this selected, we can go to File, Export, uh, Scene, Selected Object, and just uh, export it as whatever you want. And then uh, do the same thing with the many one, except this time you only have to uh, select the entire branch of one. And then you're going to export that. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you how to import this into Unreal. So I am going to assume you know how to uh, create a third person template project. Inside of here we're going to import. Uh, right click inside of the content folder and import and just select the UE5 many. Uh, you should be graded with something like this. Uh, under Advanced, uh, you only use T0 as ref pose if your character was meant to be imported with the first frame being the uh, resting pose. Uh, that'll be what it sets as the resting pose on import. So, anyway, we're going to uncheck Import Mesh because we don't want the mesh, we just want the animation. And I'm going to type in Man with two ends. Select the SK Mannequin. In some cases, um, like <coughs> with Cascader, it's not important. The default settings should be fine. But with some, you might want to try animated time or use default sample rate. For Cascader, I recommend the default. And then we're just going to import it. And then you can drag it out and uh, scrub through it. Make sure it's working all right. And then under here, we're going to add the go-kart mesh. And so, this time I'm going to leave mesh checked, everything else default. Give it a second. <laughs> I exported it actually with the transform, which I wasn't actually needed, I, I don't think. Uh, I don't know, but... Well, I exported it with an animation, that's why I got an animation here. Anyway, so just uh, delete that if you get the same thing. It's not needed. And then just save this. This is your skeleton physics asset and skeletal mesh. Over here, we're going to right click under the anim folder. Uh, you'll have to create the folders yourselves. I'm assuming you know how to do that. So we're just going to import this. We're going to uncheck mesh like we did with the, the mannequin. And we're going to search for go kart. <coughs> You could have imported the mesh off the animation, but I don't like doing that because uh, it normally imports it as, uh, well, it, it can import it with issues if you do that. Maybe the resting pose uh, isn't set properly on it or something. But now you'll have an animation right here, and you'll see mine just goes from left to right and then resets. It's not a looping animation. Anyway, I'll set all this, all these transforms to zero. And then I will simulate it to make sure that everything is in sync. 
the way I uh, meant for it to be. And it is. And there you go. <clears throat> Let me know what you guys think.